today. West Indies were very disciplined yesterday, not so today. No, dead ball. What is that? Now, what is that? It's a no ball. It was over the front. I don't know what's going on. I mean, that, that, that typifies the frustration of the West Indies. I just can't understand this. That's something I haven't seen on a, on a test match field. I don't think ever. Down the wicket, and then what, a, what was that all about? Well, here we go, a double bouncer. And it hasn't bounced on the field again. It's out for six. He's given it the full treatment, something you don't see very often. How well did he hit that? Well, I thought it was in the rules. If it bounces twice, it's a no ball. It hasn't been called a no ball by a soaker to silver. It's just six. I think that should have been a no ball as well. Actually, be five wides. And I think that may have been an attempted in swing from Zahir Khan. He got it all wrong. The wicket keeper not really making any attempt at all. He just made no effort to go in the direction of the ball, stayed where he was. You can see they're not even in the picture, Dravid, but that was wide. And even had he gone in the direction, made an effort, and not have stopped those runs. saying yesterday about trying to get your first one on the cut portion and he just made it I tell you that whatever butterflies were twitching around in these nether regions uh, a few moments ago they'll be intensified now that's just about the widest and wildest ball of the series Well, umpire Bird has got to get his bearings after that. Unseen by Russell Tiffin. Oh! Now he's completely locked. It's a free hit. Look at that! He's hit it um, hockey style through mid wicket for four. The umpires are just going to have uh, a little bit of a conference here. I think McMillan was within his rights to do that. Did his arm come over the top? Did the ball come over the top? Ball's delivered once his arm rotates and comes over. His dead ball, that's common sense uh, from the umpire. The batsman is within his rights once the ball is delivered. And it has come over, his arm has come over there. Now he's within his rights to go and strike it anywhere he wants, which he did. <laughs> it's one of those spirit of the game things that it's not the done thing well within the laws of the he spikes through uh, one of the advertising hoardings oh yeah, that's apologies all round there's no ball at uh, the end where Karl Liebenberg is uh, officiating and it's called also by uh, by Steve Randall, and uh, that's a very nasty moment. That's when you really do need a, a helmet on if you get a full bunger, and it's uh, struck struck him on the grill, I think, with dented that 
uh, back an inch or two, and it would have given him a hell of a shock. This is a frightening delivery. Mark Ram for crash appeared not to pick one up last over that was full. You can't get much fuller than that. It's hit him full in the face mask. He hasn't even had time to turn his head. He can't work out what happened. It would really shake a batsman up. Take him up a lot more if he hadn't had the face mask on. He didn't lay a glove on it or anything. It's just crashed straight into the face mask. Apologies from the bowler. Call for a new helmet or a new face mask. A few deep breaths. Really unsettling for a batsman when that happens. I reckon he simply didn't see it. He didn't even move his head to get it out of the road. It would have jarred him around as well. But not for one moment does he move his head. I reckon the ball was about a foot away from uh, his face before he realised what it was. Three point oh nine, but one gets the feeling this morning if Inkman can hold catch a two, pick up an early wicket, the pressure will be really on. Only three slips, look at them. I think they could afford another one or two of those. They've got three slips, a gully, backward point. There's a big gap in cover. Palmerson, does he want Langer driving? Get the ball on the right length, get it bouncing through. You might need a fourth slip there. Back north, officiating at the Stanley Street end. Perfect day in Brisbane. The first ball, the first test match. Whoa, wide delivery, taking a slip by the skipper. The nerves are showing already. Well, when Mark Nichols asked me was I nervous in the com box uh, just about 20 minutes ago, I said, not as nervous as the guy will be who's running up the ball the first ball. And now it's the second. <laughs> He's going to be petrified now. They might need four slips to catch this. That can happen. I remember Graham McKenzie saying to me once, when he bowled a delivery like that, we're nervous as well as the batsman. We hit the ball properly. There's another one. This time it's wide, it's short, and it's fast. So the nerves there already for Stephen Harmison and Langer. He liked to feel the ball onto the bat early on. The perfect day for batting. It looks to be the perfect cricket pit. discussion well it looks to me as if they're going to bow underarm off the last ball Rod Marsh is saying no mate but I'm sure he's going to bow an underarm delivery on the last ball and bow it along the ground and be sure that it has not been hit for six the umpires have been told the batsmen have been told and this is possibly a little bit disappointing let's make sure it is an underarm but I've got the feeling it's a big ex Victorian skipper we're going to bowl an underarm. We have believed it. And that's a disappointing finish. Disappointed Brian affecting the crowd boom. And it's all over. After 50 overs, New Zealand 8 for 229. Well, that's disappointing. Bruce Edgar saying, what's going on? But very disappointed, Bruce Edgar. At the moment, Howard coming onto the field. 